This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another video. And today, comic books, which... I don't even know how I'm going to review this. Um, I think I'll set up the camera like I do the uh, the other stuff and uh, maybe show a couple uh, panels. Maybe I'll record something on the, uh, that you'll see on the screen. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just talk about this. Um, but before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out uh, my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Um, I guess, roll the intro. Transformers, this is not the uh, the comics, uh, the individual comics version. This is the trade paperback version uh, that was on pre-order uh, from Amazon. Um, it, uh, I think May 21st. I got this May 21st. And I already pre-ordered the Volume 2, uh, which is coming in November. And I have to say, I'm impressed with this uh, for two reasons. First, it's very different than what I'm used to. I'm a Marvel guy. This is the X-Men Fatal Attraction a new print that came out in April. I'm used to this type of draw drawings. Uh, you know, lots of text. Um, you know, very full of words and complex storyline. And this wasn't that. It was good though. A uh, lot more images. Well, actually, that's one page where there's a lot of text. But there's a lot of pages where it's just fight scenes. Like, bang, bang. And they're not, you know, ranting at one another. Like here, you know, Optimus kills a deer. Not understanding. Like, he just steps on it. Because that deer was just too dumb to run away from a giant robot. Like, who? what kind of deer just stays there? But anyway... The artwork is beautiful. The story is dark. Um, it, it was recommended to me because it was dark. And I had no plan of collecting this series. But the fact that it's on trade paperback, that is... I don't know why it's more appealing to me. I don't want to buy, like, individual comics with tons of publicity and, you know, x-ray glasses or, you know, penis pill. I don't need that. I just want the artwork, the story. Um, spoiler alert, the, they land on Earth and they get into trouble uh, with the humans quickly enough because the humans don't understand that there's two factions. Um, you, we haven't seen up to this, uh, we haven't seen Megatron. Uh, only like one shot where he's... Uh, Frozen, because, you know, Bayverse stuff, uh, again. But, no, I really enjoyed the um, the story where, you know, it's this, it's classic beginning where they crash on Earth, but this time they're found by Jetfire. And, of course, two humans. Uh, but, you know, Jetfire not, uh, in this story, he's been sent away, or he was on a mission to, you know, save Cybertron, find a way to do that. And he decided to revive Starscream first, not realizing that Starscream was now a Decepticon. So this is the, you know, page one. And we don't really know how many years they've been stuck there. It doesn't specify an actual date. Um, there's familiar names, but not characters. Uh, this is Spike. This is Sparkplug. Sparkplug is a mechanic, but he's a ex-military and he's a drunk. And I'm guessing his wife died. Uh, Spike is resentful. Uh, he's not. He's black hair instead of brown, and he's not wearing the traditional Spike uniform. Uh, but I like. I like him. He's uh, actually um, interesting. 
uh, he's fun to, 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 to read, but it's very dramatic. It's, you know, there's no comic relief, um, or at least I didn't laugh. Uh, uh, we have Carly, uh, that's her right here. And very, you know, not blonde. She doesn't seem to be the MIT type. Uh, but uh, her dad is friend with Spike's dad. So, you know, that's how they know each other. And they're talking about going to school. Of course, that's all going to go down the drain. Uh, so, you know, you have the classic art uh, where the, uh, you know, everybody's dead inside. And then Jetfire arrives, uh, revives... Uh, you know, oh, and that's one shot. First thing you do, they kill Bumblebee. So is it going to be because, you know, like, that's a G1 Bumblebee, but now is his voice box okay? We don't know, because in those six issues, we don't, you know, know anything. So I'm not going to give you the whole story, but the premise is that Megatron is somewhere on Earth, we assume. He's frozen. Starscream is the leader. He's a sad sadistic bastard. Like, he squishes people to death, uh, slaps his end together to, you know, kind of a Hulk style, except that he squishes people. Uh, Soundwave, you know he has the classic uh, yeah, voice modulation because his uh, speech bubble are blue. I'm just trying to find one uh, right here. So, you know, that means that his voice is different. Um... We see Skywarp, we see Thundercracker, um, Rumble, and Laserbeak. And then for the Autobots, we have RC, Optimus Prime, uh, Jetfire for a while, Jazz for a while, Cliffjumper, Ratchet. Yeah. So, you know, and then, of course, oh, there's Duke. Uh, Starscream shoots down a plane, and then some guy falling down is Duke. Um... I'm not going to collect the G.I. Joe stuff or, you know, uh, is it Void Rivals? Like, I, I'm just interested in Transformers. So, if there's a crossover, potentially. Oh, yeah, we have Devastator. Um, you know, that's part of... Uh, and, and they made the conflict more realistic. Like, they're both... Both sides, both factions are struggling to get Energon. And it's not going well. Um, Starscream is in is occupying the Ark for now, and he's trying to rebuild it, and eventually he does, uh, and um, they can bring in more warriors. But Optimus, with the help of the humans, eventually uh, spark plug. You know they go to some water dam, and they're able to. Uh, oh yeah, they bring back half of Wheeljack, so that his brain can figure out how to fix uh, all that and then after that you know they just um, they, they get a little more more warriors here and there and uh, that's when RC comes in and you know um, lots of action the artwork is gorgeous like I have to say like even the transformation you know like it, it's just one frame uh, in, in the early Marvel comics from what I recall like they'd have like sometimes one or two or three panels for the transformation uh, this, it's just, there's one jumble, so you know he's transforming, and after that, he's, you know, in the other mode. Uh, but I think that's well done. And what's the, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had, There's a Matrix, also. And uh, Sparkplug sacrifices himself uh, in, in this story to be able to uh, kind of repower the Matrix, which I think found odd i mean i'm giving this a shot because it's a new continuity um it's a very weird concept they don't explain how it's possible it just you know that's what he does um so do i recommend this yes uh, either if you're a g1 or you're a fan of just transformers in general uh do pick this up i prefer the trade paperback if you prefer the because i hear there's a like hundreds of uh, cover variant I hate that. I don't. It's like exclusive. I don't like that. So trade paperback for me is gonna be the way. So if they do the, you know, every six issue they do a trade paperback, I'm gonna collect that. So uh, thank you for mainly uh, the people that recommended the most were Rodimus Primal and Patriot Prime. Um, so yeah, I'm um, I'm gonna pick that up. I think it's Patriot Prime. 
Um, but for sure, uh, Rodimus Primal told me that uh, I really should uh, take a look at that. So I did. And I'm not disappointed. So there you go. That's my uh, quick review of a comic book. Never done that before. And, uh, you know, let me know if you like it. If you didn't, uh, you know, be honest. If it's not something that you're uh, interested in, uh, just let me know. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. Have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.